Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato and this is going to be a supplemental video to my simple vanilla automation series. Uh, and this circuit is a water drop essentially or a water ladder and it's very similar to what I did with the lava bucket uh, or the lava trash can. And basically we have an observer that's facing upward into a pressure plate uh, that this time is on top of a dispenser with a water bucket inside of it. Now this is a very useful circuit uh, because it double triggers. When you step on the pressure plate, the water will trigger. And then when you step off, it'll turn off. Okay, so the observer is facing upward um, and it's just put on top of the dispenser. Now I have a mine shaft that's dug here that has a ladder inside of it. And then we have torches along the walls. Okay, so I just want to demonstrate, uh, you know, your regular two wide mine shaft uh, down to Y level 11, uh, but this does it with a little bit of style. So let me go ahead and put the pressure plate back on and then put the water bucket in the dispenser. And you can also add a trap door um, to it that will open and line you up and also protect you from falling. So I'll just add a simple uh, trap door here facing outward like so all right and then when we step on the pressure plate the door will open and water will drop and we can just ride the water current down so it's just maybe a little bit faster than going down on the ladder um, but you know a little bit more stylish now of course i'm aware that you know you could suspend water here at the bottom or actually have water down in a hole or something like that or you could have a bubble column or something but this is a little simpler a little bit more stylish and you can see it doesn't hurt the ladders it doesn't hurt the torches uh, when the water goes down and of course i'm in creative but you could ride it down in survival no problem um, and the trap door will stop you from completely falling down the shaft so when you step on the on the pressure plate the water dispenses when you walk off the pressure plate then uh, it picks it back up and you just write it down now probably a more useful uh, use of this is when you want to have an area in your base that you're looking at your builds okay or you're having a you know a sky base or something like that but it's pretty common that we want to get a high crow's nest to be able to see our build uh, as we're working on it and so here's a nice little system using the exact same technique with the dispenser on the bottom, water bucket in it, observer facing upward with a pressure plate. Uh, I do have a button. I'll show you why that's here for a moment. Then I have some stairs along the side uh, and you could build this out as big as you want, just keeping this center and then also allowing uh, a frame here for the water to drop so it doesn't spread out. Then I do have a wooden button on the bottom of this dispenser. So obviously, you know, you're going to want to build down a little bit and put it there as you build up. But I have a hole here at the bottom as well. So it's the same principle, except this time you can also trigger it from the ground. So just take a bow and shoot at that um, wooden button and the water will drop down and you can just get it in and swim up it uh, to go to the top. So that it's really nice because you don't have the well, of course, you don't want to fall off the edge like that, but just shift on it and you know that way uh, you don't have to have like ugly cobble pillars or whatever just hit the button again the water will go away and then when you want to go down it's the same technique of just step on it step off and ride down uh, to the ground so that's really nice for a crow's nest uh, view uh, to take a look at your builds or again you can use it as a water drop to drop from a high place uh, have a little bit like inaccessible sky base with a secret way to get to it and stuff like that so anyway very simple automation the circuit with a uh, observer and a dispenser is really useful because of that double triggering without needing any more uh, components so i hope that was helpful to you this is scott omato thanks so much for watching guys we'll see you in the next one bye bye